Welcome back to NOLA Motorsports Park in Avondale. This is Prep Recruiting Inside of PRI. I'm the host of Prep Recruiting Insider, Rick Gailey, along with our Prep Recruiting Insider, Renee Nato. And we are both pleased to have with us today the head football coach of the John Errett Patriots, Coach Corey Lambert. Corey, thank you for joining us here today at NOLA Motorsports Park. Thank you, guys, for having us. Corey, this is your fourth year. How are you a better coach than when you took over in 2012? Better coach for several reasons. Um, I allow um, my assistants to do the job that they're hired to do, and I'm able to not actually call plays, not actually call defense or special teams, and allow those guys to be successful. That's going to let me manage the game and manage the program. And also um, <clears throat> the kids that we have that was in the program for four years, uh, been doing a good job in those scenes that we have here today. Those guys, you know, they show what the program is all about and what, what we've come from, from 09. And, and you've brought a lot of stability to the program and a lot of credibility to the program because something that's different than uh, certainly even when you went to school, Corey, is that the opportunities for uh, young people to go to different schools is bigger than ever before when you have magnet schools, when you have charter schools, when you have uh, Catholic schools, private schools, and the like. They have so many opportunities out there. You've really got to demonstrate every single day the worthiness of your program for them. Yeah, well, I tell you, that's important. And I tell a lot of people, we don't, you know, we don't go out and, and tell people to come to John Air and do those things. We let what, what speaks for itself is these kids, you know, you know they're going to college. Not, and for one, they have grades. You know, these guys have over 20, 20s and 20 and above ACT scores at a public school with an IBO International Baccalaureate program, and it speaks for itself, you know, and the things we do. I'm a strong believer that um, in recruiting and uh, uh, whatever it may be, whatever you may call it, uh, getting kids at your place, I think that um, kids recruit other kids. Coaches don't recruit them. Kids yeah. recruit other kids. They're going to tell other kids what, what happened, their experience was at John Eric. You know, just for instance, you know, Darrell Williams was at LSU. I asked him, I, you know, just two days ago, do you think that was a great choice for Michael? He said it was a good choice for these reasons. Because those kids are in there and they know what's actually going on. So those kids are going to tell other kids what the, the, you know, the success they had at Eric and why, and other kids are going to listen to other kids. Of course, sometimes you're a, you're a coach, you're a dad, uh, you do a lot of things. You've been through the recruiting process as a player. Yeah. How involved are you with each individual and how much goes through you with, with the recruiting? Well, you know, 90% to 100% goes through me as the head coach because, for one, the kids trust me, the parents trust me, and the loyalty that I have. And, and, and as a coach, it has to go through you. It's you, the parents, and the recruiter to make it successful. When it doesn't go that way, it's not as much success because as a coach and a former player, being recruited, being through it, you know, I will, as a parent, I will want to, you know, ask Coach Lambert, what, what needs to be done for my kid to be successful? How does this work and things like that? So 90 to 100% goes through me and, um, and the parents. You know, like I tell them, you know, I have no inspiration of either being a, high, a college coach. I really don't because, um, you know, I like to be home with my family and I like the things and I love what I'm doing. And I have no aspiration to be a high school head coach nowhere else but John Eric, and that's my passion. That's what I feel. And trust is so important. Yeah. And that's, you know, that, and that's what you're developing year mm -hmm. after year after year after year. You mentioned your assistant coaches mm -hmm. and uh, how much more you're relying on them. And that, that is so valuable. Uh, talk about your coaching staff, uh, their responsibilities, and, and what they're bringing to the table. Well, I'll tell you, as far as my assistant head coach, you know, Clint Harrison, you know, he's, um, this is his second year, and um, he's doing a great job with, for one, just... Um, getting to know the kids and, you know, not being from here, being from Alabama, being in Bell Chase and things like that. Not saying kids are totally different, but we have a different culture at our school. And he has picked up on that and the kids have bought into the scheme of things and what he's trying to do. And it has helped us out a lot. He's also our offensive coordinator. You know, I have my younger brother who um, played here, uh, played at Eric. He's um, it's in his third, fourth year. Dominique Lamb, he's the O-line coach. He does a great job when our receiver coaches Coach Jawin Caesar does a great job, played here. I coached all those guys, you know, and our defensive coordinator is Brian Creighton. He, um, <clears throat> he has really done a great job 
since he since he came on board. Very enthusiastic. You know, he he knows the X's and O's of the game. You know, has limited experience, but a lot of knowledge for his playing and the will to want to learn. And that's the good part about it. And I have Darren Franklin, who's a DB coach, special teams coordinator, was an ex head coach um, at HL Bourgeois, coached at Bell, Jason St. Aug, coach Don Cox, um, does a tremendous job with the cornerbacks, weight room, secondary, speed and conditioning, motivation. He does it all for us. Coach Prince is a D line coach. And I also have um, <clears throat> Coach Shep, who just came aboard, played on the state championship team, coached with me at Eric with Billy. And now he's um, helping with the D-line and those guys. I mean, and, you know, we have a tremendous staff. One thing about the staff we have now, I must say this is, pro this is my best staff I've had since I had coach. Um, <clears throat> even though, you know, we're four and two, the record, you know, that, that doesn't dictate how your staff is and things like that because football is a game of the bounces that you get. But for as the trust and loyalty and, and, and knowing everything is on the same accord, this is by far the best staff I've had. In the last minute or so, coach, this team has persevered, overcome injuries, and, and moved on. What is the, the character and the will of this group? This is special. The senior class, you know, these guys that's here today, and um, these guys that's here today in the senior class, and um, just buying the program and been through it. You know, um, as sophomores, these kids was down in the game. Actually, I got kicked out the game for two personal fouls. They put me out the game, and um, and these kids come back. We were down by two touchdowns, and they come back and win the game. I mean, they just persevered their whole career here at John Eric, go 0 and 9. You can't do nothing but go up. So that's all these kids have done, you know. So, I mean, you know, our quarterback go out. Nobody ever told me that we'd be out our starting quarterback for the whole year. I mean, he didn't play but three or four snaps in week one, and that was it. So these, this, these, these guys kind of rallied. They persevered. They've been through it. Maybe 0 and 9 was the thing they needed to do to make them better all across the board for his school, for his life, for his everything, because they've been persevering since. It certainly makes you hungry, and you're going to have to bounce back this week after a tough loss to Landry Walker last week. We talked about that and, and uh, the, the self-inflicted wounds mm -hmm. that you have to bounce back from because you have the West Jefferson Buccaneers coming up uh, here this week. So uh, it's, it's a big week for you, and yes. we look forward to seeing your progress. We're proud of what you've done so far, Corey. We're happy that you're on the show with us. Looking forward to having your players on here and finding out more about the John Eric Patriots. This is Prep Recruiting Insider at NOLA Motorsports Park in Avondale, where they have the great event center here for your special event. We'll be right back after this.